Let's go ahead and import that template, set up our scene, and we're also going to cover a few possible problems and troubleshoot for if your building, your object, happens to be off the grid due to grouped PSP brushes. So here I have Maya LT open, go to File, New Scene, and then here we're going to import our FBX and our OBJ. Then we're going to keep just one. To import, go to File, Import, click on Workspace Root, and then go inside Export it from UE4 folder. Let's select the FBX file first, click Import, and here is our BSP template. Gonna turn on Wireframe Unshaded. And when exporting BSP brushes as FBX, they get divided up into separate objects. Our template was imported into the world origin in my LT because we exported at the world origin from Unreal Engine 4. So it's an exact same position over 000 world space. Now let's go ahead and select all these objects, go to modify, freeze transformations, and move them off to the side. This will enable us to move these objects back to this location. Now let's import our OBJ. Go to file, import, and double click on the OBJ file. Because this was a static mesh we exported, it gets imported as a single object. And it is also gets positioned in the exact same space at world origin that we exported from in Unreal Engine 4. Let's keep this OBJ file and delete the FBX file. Just because the OBJ is already combined as a single object and they are exactly the same template. But it is easier to export BSP brushes as FBX instead of converting them into a static mesh and then exporting that. So my normal workflow is to use BSP brushes and export them as FBX. Let's rename this object to BSP template, create a new layer, name this layer template, and then add this building to this layer. With this, we can control its visibility and we can lock it from being selected. One very important thing we need to do is to make sure that this building is on the grid. It means that the BSP brushes inside Unreal Engine 4 were created on the grid with specific dimensions, so every brush was aligned to the grid lines. And we need to make sure that it is the same case in Maya LT. This will make it easier for us to create from this template. And you could experience some issues due to grouping all of our brushes and using the pivot point of the group. It could mean that the pivot point is not on the grid as it averages out and centers the pivot point based on all the objects. So you have to be very careful when grouping and using the pivot point of the group as it could misalign the brushes of your template. So let's go ahead and take a look at our object. I'm going to fly around. I see that our building is not flat on the ground plane. So let's go to side view and move the bottom of the building so it's flat with the ground plane. Then I'm going to take a look around everywhere else and make sure that the edges of the building, the primary shapes and the secondary shapes are on the grid like they are inside Unreal Engine 4. And in our case, everything looks good. We have all of our primary and secondary shapes. Everything is on the grid. And you do have to set up your grid in Maya LT so it matches Unreal Engine 4 one to one. So to do this, go to Display, Grid Options. Length and Width simply defines the size of your grid, how large of the area it takes up. So you could set this to anything you want. I have mine set to 3000. Grid lines every X amount of units is the grid spacing. This value is exactly the same as the grid spacing in Unreal Engine 4. So whatever you set here will match the grid spacing here. And I usually set this value to 10. And subdivisions you have to set to 1. This will make the grid in my LT match Unreal Engine 4. So our object, our building, is on the grid and everything is exactly the same as it is inside Unreal Engine 4. But at the end of this video, I will show you what to do just in case you encounter any problems where your object may be off the grid. Let's go ahead and freeze transformations and lock our layer so we cannot select our object. 
Now we're going to create a scale reference. We already know that this building is to correct proportion and scale, but I still like to have a human reference scale inside the scene. So I'm going to create a cube, set width to 60, height to 180, and depth to 60. This gives us the rough dimensions of a playable character inside Unreal Engine 4. We're going to modify the pivot to the bottom vertex, hold D, and then C, and middle mouse click and drag to snap the pivot along the edge all the way down to the vertex. Then hold X and middle mouse click and drag to snap this object to the grid. We're going to place this reference on its own layer. So let's create a new layer, name it scale, then rename the object to scale ref and add it to the layer. Then set the layer to R so we can select it. Now let's save our scene. Go to File, Save As, make sure you are inside Scenes folder, and let's name our file 01-cornerstore-modeling. Before we get into the modeling part of the project, let me show you what to do if you encounter your grouped BSP brushes are exported and now no longer aligned inside Maya LT. So instead of moving the BSP brushes to the world origin like we did before, select them all, whether they're grouped or not, doesn't matter, and export them from the same place you created them in. So let's go ahead and do a test. This is the original position we created our BSP brushes, and they are already grouped, but not moved. We want them to be in the exact same position when they were created. Then let's export. We're going to save as type FBX and name it Miami Corner Store 2 BSP and click save. We're going to keep the same export options as before. Now back in Maya, let's go ahead import. I'm going to navigate into exported from UE4 folder and select the exported BSP. Let's hide our current template. And here is the imported template that is imported in the exact same position where it was created. And the object is a bit off the grid. As you can see, the pivot point is at the world origin and the object is a little further away. So if we want to place this object more at the world origin, you would just select all the pieces, go to mesh, combine. So it's one single object. Then we want to modify the pivot point. So let's place it at the bottom vertex of this wall. Because we know this wall is aligned to the grid in Unreal Engine 4, and it will make it align in my LT as well. So I'm going to hold on D to modify the pivot, then C to snap to an edge, and then middle mouse click and drag, so the pivot point is moved all the way down to the vertex. Then hold down X, middle mouse click and drag, so this entire object is snapped to the grid. Now all we would need to do is continue to hold down X, so we're snapping to the grid, and position this building right over the world origin. Where in relation to the world origin it's at doesn't really matter, as long as the building is snapped to the grid. So continue holding down X as you move the object. Then make sure to go into front, side, and top view, and check to see that everything is aligned on the grid, specifically all the primary shapes. So this is how you would deal with the object that is off the grid on import into Maya LT. Let's go ahead and delete this from my scene, and let's also delete the example file we used. We are now ready to begin modeling. 